Right and guys, so today I'm going to talk about a bit of a more different topic than fitness and that is about personal goals and my personal vision to be honest and the power of having a vision. I don't feel that enough people, I'm just, it's going to be quite an informal just conversation like I'm talking to a friend but I just don't feel enough people know what the hell they want. I don't feel enough people have ever sat down and actually said, you know what, what the hell do I want out of my life or where the hell do I want to be in five to ten years? It shocks me and scares the living daylight out of me when I didn't, and it shocked me when I didn't know those answers and I was like, I'm just literally clueless. It's like I've got in my car, me being the car as a human, and I'm just driving around without a destination, like what the hell? Now don't get me wrong, I don't think we all know and find out early on, most of us won't, what the hell we want, but I, we don't know, it's the, it's not the point of not knowing what you want, it's the fact that no one cares, they don't know what they want. And that scares me, and I, for me, I, I sat down when I was 16 and knew I wanted to go into business at some point, I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur, and I started discovering about like Richard Branson and other people like that. But then at 18 I was like, right, well probably from 16 onwards I was like, right, what the hell am I going to go into business with, like what am I going to do for business? And I was just like, right, I need to figure this out. So. I've spent probably the past three years just really getting to know myself, like just studying myself, looking at what my pros are, my cons, what I'm strong at, what I'm weak at, what I love doing, what I don't love doing, all these hard questions. And it took me ages to figure out, right, what, am I true, what do I truly want to do with the rest of my life? And maybe not the rest of my life, but I know one thing for sure, I love fitness now and, and it's from 18 onwards I've discovered that and I accepted that, that, that was my passion. And that's what I want to do. I love helping people transform their bodies. Like that is my ultimate passion: is seeing someone transform mentally and physically. Like seeing someone go from an inconfident person and not really happy with their their body and quite frankly their life sometimes to then being switching it 360 and they're actually so happy with themselves. They're more upbeat. They've got more energy. They're more confident in their clothes and what they wear. Like that to me is like um, you can't pay for that that reward or that feeling of helping someone get to there or playing a role in that and. Today I just want to sit down with you guys because I think it's very powerful to tell people what you're going to achieve or what you want to achieve because one, I can look back on this video in a few years time potentially or maybe if 10 years time and think shit, I've said all that and it's happened, it's become a reality and that would all be down to one, the law of attraction, two, the power of visualisation and three, the power of hard work and discipline and self-belief quite frankly and I, I, I'm doing this video because one day, I, I mean I put this video off for so long because I've been scared or paranoid or thinking oh, I won't do it right or be paranoid about what thinking, thinking about my goals or that I'm thinking I'm crazy and whatever else but to me if I achieve the goals I'm setting out for this video will be so powerful in the future because I will literally put this on every screen I go to if I'm giving seminars or whatever and I'll show people look this is me at 20 years old on Let's get the date, 3rd of March 2017 and I said I was going to do all these things and I said it for a long time that I was going to do all those things and now I'm sat here on a stage talking to you about how I did it. That, that to me is so powerful and I'm almost speaking to my future self I suppose because one day I might be looking at a screen watching this and thinking Jesus Christ you, you, you did it and like what the hell you must have been right about a few things so yeah I think that would be so cool and that is my ultimate dream. Is like I want to be able to go around schools and go around universities and, and teach younger kids basically entrepreneurship, fitness, taking control of your life, and like being a being a bit of like a bit of an ambitious dreamer and making it hard and, and working hard for your goals. Like I don't want people to live an average life in any aspect. Like I'm a big promoter of fitness, but I love people excelling in other areas of their life. I don't want them just ex excel in fitness. What's the point? Like. I think it's a joke when a guy with a good body and amazing physique gets into a shitty KA or some shit car. It's like, mate, you, you've got one aspect of your life you're at the top of, but then the other aspect of your life is obviously drained because you haven't balanced it and worked hard. And the other aspects of your life, like that's not impressive to me. What's impressive is a guy like like who's got it all, who's got the body, who's got the business, who's got a crazy like relationship and cool relationship with a girlfriend and like he's got a great balance and hits personal goals and does stuff of his life not a guy who lives out of Tupperware and like he's paranoid to go out for restaurants and he's got an amazing physique but drives a crap car or can't even drive like that to me is like just so shoddy like it's like mate you're not you, why live for just a physique like you're gonna get old and age and your physique's one day gonna look old and wrinkly so it doesn't matter how good you look right now one day you're not gonna look that good so stop for me, that's just what I'm passionate about. I just don't think we should dedicate 
every waking hour to our body. Like, yeah, I think we should work on it and get be and get the best outcome we can and get a, the body we're happy with and proud of. But don't become obsessed with being the perfect body or the perfect image of a bodybuilder. Like for me, that's my personal perspective on fitness. Some people will disagree with that and I accept that and I agree with that, that's fine. But that's my personal opinion. Bit of a tangent, but this is like I said, a conversational video. It could be long, so sit back and relax because I'm gonna be talking quite a bit. But anyway, getting on to my vision, right? The specific, the specific goals of what I want to achieve. So one of the first goals I'm striving for right now is I'm trying to build an online, fit, online fitness business. Now, originally I wanted to go into fitness, obviously. When I first discovered I was passionate about fitness, I wanted to be like, right, I can't be a personal trainer forever, as in one-on-one, -on -one, because I know one day I want to be able to make, I want to be a millionaire one day. That's one of my goals. Like, I'll openly admit it, I want to be a millionaire, and I'm dead serious about it. And I was thinking, there's no way on this earth I'm going to be a millionaire by training people one-to-one, -one, so how can I do it? Is a boot camp? And then I thought, boot camp, I can do it for a boot camp. I can grow boot camp businesses across the country and all that, and I was thinking, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Tried a boot camp in my local area, failed miserably, and it made me realise, you know what, I don't like training group training that much in in the sense of like how I was doing it in boot camp. It's different if it's in a gym or like there's, a, there's weights and everything, but it wasn't really where my passion lied, and I thought, I can't scale this as big as I want it to go, Like, and I don't feel like I'm having a big enough impact that I want to have. So then it made me go down the route of other things, and I, to be honest, I was a bit lost then. This is like this is a legit story. Like I dropped out of uni at this point, I'd already dropped out, and I was like trying to do this boot camp business, and it didn't work, so I failed. And then and I was quite like blown back by that, and it, and like at the time my girlfriend had broke up with me as well, and that wasn't that wasn't helping the cause either. And I was just like Jesus Christ, like I'm failing big time. And then I like, spent like six months doing nothing, and then I finally got a job, and then another job, and then finally just because I was like paranoid that fitness wasn't for me, and that I was never going to make a living from it, etc. So it kind of like all transpired into like where I am now where it's like I did two jobs or two or three jobs and I was like this is ridiculous I hate going to work I hate my nine to five I'm, I'm literally celebrating Saturday and Friday Friday and Saturday and then on Sunday night I'm feeling like crap because no I've got to go back to a job I don't like or don't derive any passion or, or value from or don't feel any fulfillment from and I was like this is not how I want to live so I decided right it's time to call this this last job it I need to commit to fitness and go for it all out and that's when I started working at the Glades in my local area, Kidderminster, um, as a personal trainer on the gym floor. And I started off literally on a zero-hour contract, and then I started, then I built it up to a, like a about you know 32-hour contract, and it built up from there. And I started getting some clients, and then the next thing I know, I've got a few, fair few clients, and then I, I started branching out on my own. Then, and then that's where I'm at now, and I'm doing one-to-one -one PT on my own now. Um, am I making a killing? No, not yet at all. I'm probably staying afloat would be the word, but. It's a long-term vision, and I, and I love what I do. Like I wake up every day, and I don't feel like I'm working, and that's what I want out of my life. I don't. I'd rather. Well, I will make more money out of it for sure one day as I grow and expand. But I'd rather be doing this now and barely like being able to buy luxury clothes and stuff. But being able to do something I love and have an impact on people's lives, where I feel like I'm actually doing something positive in my life, like that to me is invaluable. And it's worth all the hard work and hours I put in. Like, if you watch me on Instagram, I'll put my tag below. I'm on that Instagram story, pounding it, just to demonstrate how how my schedule works and how early I get up, try to, and what I'm doing each day and I'm trying to do and be productive to make my dream a reality. I want to demonstrate to people what I'm putting in and what you guys, if you want your dream, you've got to put in as well. And I just feel that I, w I want this more than anything in the world, like I'm obsessed, like I am obsessed and I just know that I couldn't live with myself and be happy if I didn't pursue this, so that's why I'm giving it my all, I think we all have that feeling of what we know, what we want, but a lot of people put it off, they go, you know what, I'll never do that, or I don't think I'm capable of doing it, and then they'll settle, this is the problem, they'll settle for a life which they know they, they're not happy with, and that's why we have a stigma in society where we hate Monday to Friday, but well, we hate Monday to Thursday, but we love Friday, Saturday, and Sunday most of the day until we get to the evening because people people have settled for a life they're not happy with because they need to pay bills and all these other things. Two seconds. Yeah. Not yet. I will get them today. Great intervention, Dad. Okay, mate. Cheers. But anyway, I'm carrying on. So. 
to me, I just don't want to live that life. I don't want to be a slave to the to the rat race, so to speak, and, and I want to be able to have a big impact on the world. So I've got these crazy goals and crazy ambitions, and I tell you now for free that I want to live for. I want to be an entrepreneur, and I'm going to do it with my passions, and I want to have a massive impact on people's lives, and I want to change people's lives. I don't want to just make money. Making money is a problem, which needs. We all need money. Like let's not let's not deny that. But money's a problem. What needs solving? Once you've solved the money problem what do you do then? Like, I don't want to just have loads of money in the bank because you can still be unhappy with loads of money. I want to have, I want to make money from a reason and a purpose by providing value to someone and exchanging that value for money. So that via that, <clears throat> so for me, that's through my online program I'm building. I, I want to educate and teach people through the internet and online how to get in shape and master their health and fitness like I want them to be able to go and be able to go out to restaurants go out to friends and and have the foods they enjoy while still being in shape and like losing weight because it's possible I'm doing it right now with my clients it's just people aren't aware of it because of mainstream media is promoting all these crappy stupid diets which I hate and like even the industry itself promotes stupid diets like clean eating and like cheat days and I know I've got friends and people who think that that is like there's nothing wrong with that but there is in my opinion and that's for another video in itself but at the end of the day I just believe there's a big flaw and I don't think enough diets and, and enough trainers especially talk about the mindset side of fitness and how critical that is because if you don't master your, your voice in your own head that little voice which, always, which we all know of you'll never transform your body and if you do transform it, it the likelihood is it ain't staying. Uh, I don't think more than 90% of body transformations will stay. I really don't. I think the stats, I think we all see these loads and loads of transformation pictures, but I want to see what they look like a year, a year from that point. I want to see what they look like in the future, not when they look like after they've done a strict eight weeks or 12 weeks. I want to see what they look like after another year. Are they still in shape? Are they in better shape? Are they doing other things with their life? Like for me, I want anyone who comes on my program to think, shit. I've got so much more potential in me. Like I, I, there's not just fitness which I can change. I can change everything. And like, why am I settling for average in other aspects of my life? I can do so much more. I've got a physique I'm happy with now. So why can't I build a business or pursue that dream job of mine or, or go and speak to that person I've always fancied but never had the balls to go speak to? Like all these things, I want people. To, I want it to be a proper personal ch life changing experience. I don't want it to just be. Oh yeah, I've dropped some body fat or I've I've lost a few inches. It's like that to me does not that does not light me up in the morning. Like me being able to change someone's whole outlook and have, with the way they think in a positive way that that fires me up. So this program is going to be a game changer, and I and I seriously, it's one of my objectives to build a multi-million pound online fitness business. And why? And some of you might be going, well, why is he so obsessed with the money? Like money's not everything. Well, it's it, to be honest, it, money is everything in some respect because you've got to pay bills to live for starters, right? So I want the luxuries in life. I've got them all here. I want the R8, right? And if I want the R8, I'm going to need to have the money to buy the R8. I can't buy it with a want or a dream. I've got to be able to financially pay for it. I've got other dreams like, look at all these. I want the. I would love a Range Rover. I'd love to be able to have my own office and my own staff and be able to cultivate a cool business and I'll be able to actually employ people. Like, this is my vision board. I'd like to be able to invest in property so I can secure my future and not have to rely on banks and pension funds to, to support me when I, when I grow older. I want to have cash flow coming in from other assets. I want to be able to build a brand and be known and give talks and quotes and be a speaker worldwide and like in, be an investor and everything. I'll go into the goals now but all of these goals require money and like if I want to learn how to ski or um, fly a helicopter or fly a plane, which are some of my goals, I need to be able to pay for that. And I want to have freedom. And money, all money is is freedom, right? Every, every reason I want money for is for freedom. And the way I want to get my money is in an ethical, valuable way. I want to give people value through my product, which like any ethical business should do, to be able to then generate money for myself. And like, I've got nothing wrong with that, but I think there is a stigma of people who think wanting money is a bad thing, which it's not. And I think we need to break that mould and realise that money's a good thing. And the more money I have, the more I can impact others. Like, I want to, there's so many charities I want to start and help, but all of those need to be funded. And that's why I'm starting this venture now. And with the online fitness business, I want it to be able to teach people how to master their mindset, their nutrition and their training. And also, I want to be able to teach people how to cook quick, healthy food, quick, healthy meals all macro friendly and also teach them how to operate and change a meal so it can mm. fit their macros and to me that is sustainable that I want to give people basically the blueprint to fitness like I don't want them to just have a like a bloody plan on an A4 piece of paper and say right do some squats press ups and lunges 
repeat three sets, 12 reps, and then repeat that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Bob's your uncle, eight weeks, done. No thank you, I want a legit program. I want it to change. I want it to be literally one of the best programs on the market. That's why right now I'm actually buying the competitions program. I'm spending money to go and actually see what's on the market to see, right, these people have left this on the table. They've left that. They need to improve on this. And then I'm gonna formulate it all and put it into my, and put all their weaknesses into my program so it covers every base possible. I've got so many so many things to help with, it's unreal. But anyway, moving on, I've got my notebook somewhere. But so let's just, I write down my goals every morning, right? And if you're still watching, thank, I appreciate that because I have been ranting on. Um, but I hope you're finding this interesting because these are the conversations I find interesting. Not like going down to the pub with your friend and going, oh, what girl you been chatting to today? Or like, oh, that guy's such a wanker. Like all these stupid conversations. Like I like flipping impactful deep conversations where you actually think about life and you're actually doing stuff and like you think about where you want to go in the future that's interesting not going oh yeah i remember sally she drank like 10 shots no thank you i'll pass on those conversations got better things to do in my time um <laughs> hashtag <laughs> i don't even know um so yeah i've got this book right and i just write I literally look at it I can't even see it. Literally, just word, just, just time and time again, I'm just writing down what I want to achieve. So you're visualising it, and that, that's what motivates me. Some of you might notice I'm quite an energetic kind of guy. Like I'm always pumped up. Right then, here we go. So here's just some of the things I've written down. This changes constantly. Like I'm always adding things to the list and also like adapting it. But for the most part, this is fairly accurate. Okay, so brace yourself. I'm just gonna read it off. Okay, so first of all, I want this is my priority right now in in the next like five years. Five, five, five years ambitiously. Build a multi-million pound online fitness business which helps sell products and services to help people transform their mentality and body. I've even got on my whiteboard here, this is my motto, to help motivate, educate and inspire individuals to be, to help motivate, educate and inspire individuals to be the best version of themselves. Physic, physic, oh, I'm all over the place today. To help motivate, educate, and inspire individuals to be the best version of themselves, physically and mentally. That's what my company stands for, basically, and what I'm trying to build. And then I want to also become, via that and through other means as well, a best-selling author via cookbooks and other books such as fitness, entrepreneurship, and self-development. So the mindset side of it all and everything. So I want to sell multiple books. I don't just want to be a cook. I want to do other things. Like I want to have some cookbooks for students, for for people who just want to cook like flexible meals and also healthy meals. I also, once my fitness business is up and running and successful, I'd love to then venture out and build my own, again, multi-million pound online f fashion brand. Like, I believe there's a big market in that for like a lot of things. I'm not gonna go into details, but I love brands like Boss and Zara, but I don't think there's a, a valuable in-between, for example, and I like, there's a lot of clothes on the market I look at and I go, what the hell were they thinking? Like, for example, these hoodies right now, which are floating around with the holes in, or the t-shirts with holes in. I'm like, mate, you paid 18, 20 quid for a t-shirt with a hole in, what the, what the hell is that fashion like? So I think there's a massive potential in that and I'm passionate about it as well. Like at the end of the day, we all need clothes as well. So from a business perspective, it's a clever venture as well. Um, and I think it's cool to be able to see someone wear your brand, not a Jack Wright brand say, but like a, a brand name, what you've created and they're repping it because of the reason behind the brand. I think that's a very cool thing and something I'd love to do one day. Um, I also, like I said previously, I really do want, I'm very curious at the moment, I wouldn't say I'm certain, but curious to go into property and being a property investor as well at some point. Predominantly with large cash flowing investments, not the 300 quid or 100 pound profit properties, I'm talking like a thousand plus profit, the big ones. That's from what the people I've learned from and, and like study at the moment, that's what they all recommend, which is obvious really when you think about it. I also want to be a famous YouTuber, I've got no, I've got no, quarrels with saying that I do want to make it on YouTube I want to have a million subscribers that's a milestone for me not for the fame but more so for the impact again I want to be able to have provided so much value to people that that a million people have decided right I want to see more of this guy because he's, he's changing my life that's where I'm coming from not the point where oh I walk down the street and people know me I don't give a crap about that I want the person to if they come up to me to say Jack you changed my life or Jack you changed the way I think and like I can't thank you enough that's what I want I don't care about fucking signatures and everything, forget all that. I want the deep stuff, like, cause, and that all stems as well, just so people know, that all stems from a guy called Greg Plitt, who's on my, that's him right there, he's on my wall. And he, he changed my life, and I can't thank that guy enough, and like, he passed away, sadly, a few years ago, and like, I only cried, cause I'd never got to meet him and thank him, and, 
that to me, I was like, that's something I wish I'd done and given. And I, I want to, and, and the impact he's had on my life, I want to have on someone else's life because I know how profound it was for me. So if I can just do an ounce of what he did to me to someone else, then that's me done, and that is me satisfied and happy and fulfilled. I want to be a public speaker on fitness, motivation, and business. I want to be a fitness expert and contributor in magazines and the news. So I want to be on the news speaking about fitness and entrepreneurship and building and basically taking control of your life and motivation and how to get motivated and, and like master your own self. I also want to be obviously like I said, I could obviously probably guess the serial entrepreneur. I've also considered I want to open my own gyms and branches of body transformation gyms. So not massive gyms but more uh, boutique body transformation centres and stuff like that potentially. These are all things I'm potentially want to do. So I'm just putting them out there. Um, I really do want to meet Richard Branson, he's my biggest idol, and as a joke, I'd lo well, as a bit, of a bit of a fun gimmick, I'd love to give him a personal training session. Um, so, Richie, Ricky, if you're watching this, mate, I'd love to come give you a free personal session on the house. Um, and if it, that happens, I'm playing this little video clip, okay, because, and the dream, if you want to really know the dream, I want to do it on Necker Island as well. Like, I'd love to go to Necker Island and personal train him and get him to help me and, and, and just do a little video, like a like a cameo promoting fitness and health because I know he's a big pa passion of it and I know he's got a big passion for it so I, that, and he's my massive he's my, one of my biggest business idols so I think that'd be so funny so I'm putting it out there in the world you know law of attraction as they say I'd love to interview and meet Ben Francis I've already met him a few times but I'd love to meet him on a personal basis um, and have him know me and remember me um, cars I'd love an Audi R8 that's my dream car it's plastered all over the wall so these are more materialistic things now Ferrari GTR F type, um, what else? There's a, yeah, they're the main ones really. Um, a Range Rover as well. Range Rover at some point, I love them. Matte black as well. Really cool car, I think. So all these, all these goals, I'm, th I'm dead serious about as well. You might be thinking this guy's just literally just rattling off crazy dreams. Like I'm dead seriously working towards all of this. Um, from a, from a more of a personal and a life, like, like bit of a hobby point of view, I really want to get a pilot license because I just think it'd be a cool objective and challenge to do. So I want to learn how to fly a plane and a helicopter. I want to be able to sky. I want to be a skydiver and learn how to skydive. I want to learn how to wakeboard properly and kite surf properly. I've done a both. I've done, I've done wakeboarding. I've done kneeboarding, but I would love to do wakeboarding. I've done a bit of kite surfing. It's solid, but I'd love to do it and learn how to do it properly. I want to also learn how to snowboard. I can already ski, but I want to learn, learn how to snowboard. I also do want to take up a martial art at some point and become get a black belt at it at some point. I also want to climb Kilimanjaro and a few other mountains. And I also would love to start when the fitness business grows, like bring out other, obviously, other ventures and things such as like cooking utensils and all these crazy other things like, and also I've got this fitness idea, like a piece of equipment, which I'm not going to obviously share because it's, it's quite a sick idea. <laughs> got to keep things under wraps, boys. But I'd love to release some of my own fitness products for home workouts and stuff like that potentially. And obviously I want to have my own videos and, and DVDs and stuff like that potentially to help people get in shape and change their mindset as well. But I also want to help, like Richard Branson really, he's inspired me from this perspective. Like if I create enough wealth for myself, I want to go around, like I said, seminars, schools and universities and just teach people what I've done in my life and also how I've overcome some adversities and challenges in my own personal experiences and how you can do it too and also how I turn my dreams into reality. That's why I'm recording this right now because if I turn my dreams into reality, I want to prove it that I planned it all and that I did what I dreamed of doing. So on video now, I've said what some of the stuff I want to do. So if I turn any of these goals into reality, people will be able to go back and go, Jesus Christ, like that guy actually said on video in 2017 he was going to do it. And then by, I don't know, whatever date it is, I've done it. And like that's valuable then. That just shows that it wasn't all fluke. It was planned and it wasn't luck. It was legit hard work and figuring out a strategy and plan to get there. And yeah, that, they're some of the main ones really. But my main focus right now as we speak is to build this multi-million pound online fitness business. And to do that, it's gonna take everything I've got and I'm gonna to have to grow into the person who's capable of achieving such a, a massive goal. And then, once I've achieved that, then I can start breaking down and looking at all those other crazy dreams I've got. But right now, that is my true passion. And one day, I think, to be remembered, I wanna be remembered for the guy who helped transform millions of people's lives and health and fitness and change their outlook on life into a positive manner rather than average and negative. like. That's my ultimate dream. The camera just cut out, so I'm gonna I've just started recording again, but that was it really guys. I stopped when the camera cut out. But um if you've watched this far and you've actually sat down and watched this talk, I appreciate you taking the time, I really do. And I hope to God you see me turn these into reality. Because every day I wake up I'm working towards those goals and I'm dead serious about every single one of them. And that's just some of the crazy goals I've got. I've got even bigger dreams than that, but 
that's some of the ones I think they're worth sharing and ticking off potentially but basically I want to be a serial entrepreneur I want to be a fitness role model and idol potentially in, in a not in an ego manner but in a sense that you can live a healthy life and still be in shape and still do other things in your life like build businesses and, and have a relationship or travel the world and still do crazy stuff like you don't have to live in the gym that's not what fitness is in my world um, in my head anyway so to speak it was once upon a time and I need to do a video on this I've got so many videos to do but it not and it's not anymore I really realize there's bigger things to life than just having a big bicep or a massive chest or a solid at six pack you know they're all good things to have and cool things to have but you don't want don't be don't be obsessed by it like realize there's other things in your life to achieve as well so that's all I'm going to say today that's fitness the right way and if you've watched this far comment be a dreamer <laughs> And yeah, I appreciate it. And let's go kill some goals. I want you to sit down if you're watching this. I want you to sit down. This is the whole point. It's me and you, not just me. I want you to sit down, study your own goals, think about what the hell you want out of your own life, and just plan it. Because I tell you now, when you know what you want, you will wake up so much more motivated and more inspired by just to go out and actually achieve these things. You'll walk differently and you'll talk differently, and also you'll have this different, like, passion and fire about you like you just people just know that you're different and that you've got something special about you so be a dreamer don't give a crap if anyone hates you or, or dislikes what you think or thinks you're you're crazy or doubt your doubt your dreams i don't care it doesn't, it's not for them to it's for them to control me i control my outcomes so realize that take action i'm eating my frog right now if you've read the book you'll know what i mean if you haven't read the book definitely go read it eat your frog because that's what i've just done recording this video and yeah i feel so good for recording it so one day i'm going to play this in the future and you'll see me turning these goals into reality i promise you that that's jack Wright fitness 20 years old 2017 march the 3rd let's be having it <laughs>